Yabares! Welcome to the program. It's Barn Burner, it's Boomer, it's Pinder, it's Warner. It's Tuesday, the uh, something, 12th already sure. in March. 30 days yeah, of summer, March? 31. We're damn near halfway through, boys. Damn near halfway through. How do we feel about it? Halfway through March. Just time keeps on spinning, spinning, spinning. Into the future? Into the future. Yeah. How many more snowfalls are we going to get? When can we take off the snoweth tires? I'd say June's a real safe bet. Um, May, maybe. Be- beauty in Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, beauty in Buffalo. <laughs> you got the full Calgary experience back here, Red. It was like full minus 20 to like plus 10 with melt. What a place. It was great. No. It is interesting when you go to a place that has no snow again, and you're like, wait a minute, do we have to have snow? We yeah. don't? Oh, yeah. it's a nice option. Well, we didn't have snow there for a while. It was basically all gone, and then it decided, oh, we can snow again. There's you should feet. see the freaking snow in Saskatoon. Oh. Like, yeah, they're not getting the Chinooks rolling through. It just keeps building. It's lining the streets five feet high. It's crazy. They got it's her all right. pushed up. No good. Like Quebec City. How was the Jersey retirement? I asked you in the chat. I said, hey, buddy, how was Saturday? And you didn't you know, respond. I can't what did communicate. He, well, no, I'm he didn't, busy he didn't and doing things. What am I going to do? Sit on my phone and be one of those dinks that's at an event? and just sitting on I mean, phone? you did yeah. have a good full travel day where you could have said good. That was kind you of... No, I was in the air a lot. And uh, I don't like to mess around with my phone. My so how work and... Now that you've got time to talk about it. It was good. Some guys that... Uh, 30 years is a long time, Dean. It's a long time. It is. A yeah. Lifetime, some say. Yeah. It's a, uh, it, it's hard to even recall. I actually had some photos from, uh, from the evening that I threw into my drive there. I, Cause I, really? I'm fairly familiar with that, uh, generation, that iteration of the Saskatoon blades. Some of the guy, a lot of the guys that played, I covered the, a lot of that team. When I was uh, starting my hugely successful broadcast career, this brought me here into my yeah. uh, spare bedroom in my house. Um, but I was trying to recognize some of the guys in the photos, some easier than others. Uh, some have aged well. I would say you are in the aged well category. So good for you. Well, that's a nice picture. I haven't seen that one. So would that be double L at the uh, at the helm there? Is that yeah. Les Lazarus? Lester, yeah. Long time oh, voice. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. And then, of course, uh, front row, you've got uh, Frank Bannum, the uh, his guest of honor, his yeah. sons. Uh, then uh, it was a little lost in the front row there, some older gentlemen. What the, the hell? Is someone wearing Lubinicki. a brown leather jacket? What the, what's That's your shtick. No, what the hell is going on here? Daryl Lubinicki's beside one of Frankie's boys. Yeah. Long time gym for Sasha. Luby. Forever. Yeah. Did he have change in his pocket? Of course he did. Yeah. Never leaves home without it. Love to jingle his change. Yeah. And that's uh, Mark Dayell. Looks like an old man, but is it? Wow. There you go. I wouldn't have have guessed. No. And then Dave Sharche, old coach. Sharche. Honest honest Dave. (laughs) And then Jerome Engel. Wacy Rabbits brought him up before. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Buf's been there forever. Uh, Where's Buf in here? Have you pointed him out? Is yet? that who you called on the way to the yeah. Flames Coyotes game? Yeah. Those guys were so excited to get you on the phone with Buf. Oh, yeah, they were pumped. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Colin Priestner, the owner, GM, whatever right. you want to call him, president. Yeah. 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 And then in the back row, Andy McIntyre, I believe he scored 50 in the. Are drop. we going left to right or where are we? Left to right, sorry. Left to right, Andy McIntyre, Paul Butchakowski. Oh, wow. uh, he was going to be the next great thing out of Saskatoon when I was a kid. Boy, was he! He was going to he was going to do it all. You know, who he was he was highly touted, highly yeah. touted, very highly touted. Then there's Ryan Fujita, Fuge! Wow. And then Baldy Chad Allen, uh, two time Chad Allen played in the World Junior Championship when Red Deer uh-huh. came through that combo that went during the lockout when they had that awesome team. Mark Watton, old captain. Fox Warren. Myself. And the guy behind is Dustin Mulliken. Dustin played with Shohei Otani over in Come Japan. On. He was a pitcher, played a game or two with Detroit, I think. You gotta be the, me. Is that actually, the you're not joking? I'm not joking. Pitched in Japan. Pitched in Japan. Wow. 
awesome pitcher runs a uh, a baseball clinic campy kind of thing in Regina now. I can't remember if that's Pozo. I forget his first name. Keith Mike Po. It's an old teammate, right? Come on. Kevin Pozo there when he was there. He came after me. So uh, yeah, he's a cop in New Orleans now. Would be of some stories. Yeah. Jambalaya. Yeah. French Jim quarter. Schaefer, the tall guy with his hat on, and then Corey McKee. Which oh. Schaefer? Is it Jeremy or? Oh, okay. Yeah. Isn't it? Paxton? <laughs> Not Paxton. No. Mm -hmm. Peter? Schaefer. I don't think it's Well, it looks like, uh, there you go. Look at, the, look at that good. Look That's at quite a suit. There. Wow. Who's in the suit? That's Pozo. That's Pozo. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, he dressed up for the occasion. The rest of us look like scrubs. Like Mark Watton just got off the farm, which he's not yeah. going to change. <laughs> Swatty. He came into my mom and dad's house. He's talking to my old man about flexi coil, yeah. which is where Dougie started his illustrious egg business career. Yeah. And he needed a like these things are so old. And he needs a uh, I don't even know what it would be called. He's asking dad if he can get him a part. <laughs> <laughs> business talk can't shop. turn it off so now question i have and it's for this photo now who's the the bald one at the end Far second right. row ball yeah that's cory mckee okay don't i guess we don't care what's happening <laughs> with uh with mark dl and luby here in the front row looks like there's is there some advance kind of an advancement here oh <laughs> so the hand on the give the tap Good yeah, to see you. Nice to see you, Lou. Hey, what uh, what are we doing later? Hey, where the hell's Wilm? Yeah, Wilm's kid had a. <laughs> we should phone him. There was a big uh, Wilm's kid had a a playoff game, provincial playoff game in Shellbrook, and apparently things got out of hand. Feisty. He, was, he may have had somebody strung out at the end of his big fat mitts, ready to Ooh. pummel him in the really? stands. Yeah. Well, how about yeah. that? I've yet to get the full story there, but even the coach texted me and was like, Ooh, we got a little sideways, Shellbrook. Oh, dear. So he missed uh, he a very important part of this line, the uh, Frank Bannum, Mark D.L., Clark Wilm line, one of the most scary lines in junior, and he couldn't make it back for his uh, buddy's uh, <sighs> retirement. Priorities, uh, yes, I don't know. Speaking of which, uh, it looks like somebody's making an advancement on you there in the back. I'm got all for around you. Yeah. See, Let's hey, it out. hands to yourself, Buster. Look at this. Get out. Now, did you guys stay for the game? Do you have a suite? What happened here? Because that team yeah. is an absolute wagon this year. They are the best team in the WHL, and it's not close. Uh, we did. We stayed for the game. Went upstairs. Overtime shootout or yeah. a penalty oh. shot win. Really? Or not a shootout. A it penalty was a penalty shot, shot yeah. Did you see our boy Wacy? Did you say hi? I did see Wacy. I went down. Excellent. I read out the opening lineup. I got Come the boys on. all fired up before the game. They're pumped up, ready to go. Yeah, wow. buddy. Did you pronounce everyone's name right? We see too no. many videos where you're doing the starting lineup and you get a name wrong. Like, there's only six names here. Fellas. You boys have got lightning in a bucket here. There was a lot of slurring of words. I am you. God. Yeah. Yeah. Lord yeah. Dane Slow. We'll see if you're working hard enough. The truth's in the pudding. Go and how about uh, and I also appreciated. So in the in the middle there, you've got all handsy Mark DL mm. with his blades colored Nikes. You can't really tell from that angle, oh, wow, but they're yeah. blue, yeah. white, and then they got a yellow, uh, the yellow swoosh. And uh, the bimbo, the the guest of honor, Frank Bannum, looking sharp with the snakeskins on with the suit oh yeah i think he won though i, I think he brought it up in his speech from claypools <laughs> who chad allen married a girl from claypool the owners of claypool so he's tied right? in tight they used to give out boots i think just like the the flames would get boots so El boot trick, boots, hey? yeah, yeah. those boots are from back in the day i saw and we'll move on because if people don't know about the blades Nobody from cares circa <laughs> mid 90s um quite niche at this point it is pretty niche yeah the uh the, i saw online the trainer at the time said that frank bannum who if you didn't know he's, he's just he's an incredible goal scorer uh came in and says i want to change my number i want to change my number to three they're like well we don't really do that it's like what, what's the story and i guess it was mollican said if you score a hat trick tonight 
you can change your number to three. <laughs> he got three huh. in the first period. <laughs> bing, really bang, bang. And, and it was giving it to this, to the coach behind the bench. Yeah, get right, right there. Number three, let's go. So that's how, uh, for some, the game's easy, I guess. It's just right. Western Hockey League. <laughs> That's good because I didn't remember him being number thirty nine, which is what the jersey that went up to the rafters. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he had, he had changed a few times there. Anyway, uh, it's game day. Get your helmets on. It's Calgary Flames, the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, Childra, mm-hmm. this is um, what do we expect here? Uh, Ooh. I was say, First game um, back, Rhett. They were, were right. going to be radiated, aren't they? They're going to be they're constipated radiated. and radiated and, and frustrated and, and all those out. other things. So what is all this? Those- Walk us through this again. So it's radiation is what, what do you? Oh yeah. You're way up in the sky there. It's bad. Can you explain what radiation is? Cause I can't. <laughs> it's uh, electrical molecules that uh, expand and contract and. Whoa, radiate. whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> nerd boy. You got to dumb it down for us here. All right. Molecules of electricity are expanding yeah. and contracting. Got mm-hmm. it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so it's the first game back. I would last, be less uh, worried. Sorry, Dean. I would be less worried about the airplane and the way, just about the way they played the last two games and whether they've packed it in officially. Well, Ryan was telling me that if we shouldn't have been shocked, he was nope. like, "Did you not see this coming? You knew this was coming. They made the trades. Look, it was ugly, but that was their third game in seventy-two hours against a very good Carolina club. Um, if you told me they were going to get two to six points, I'd say, yeah, that's." Probably Deese, given the caliber of opponent. I think what threw us off Deece. was how good they looked against Tampa and how bad Tampa looked. Yeah, I Tampa think Tampa looked, looked poor and less yes. about how good the Flames looked. I no, think- but yeah. the Flames can't control Tampa. You go, you get a big win against a good team that people consider a cup contender. Nice. Um, I thought they hung around with Florida, but Stellars was great. And then it was like, yeah, one team's got a lot more skill that came through and uh, nothing went well on Sunday. Well, that at least true. it's Colorado. In the sense of, uh, well, it should be. They're not good. They could be looking right past the Flames. I'm sure they must have another game. <laughs> they go to Edmonton. Now? Well, I mean, they could start their backup. He's had two shutouts in his last two games, Justice oh. Annanen. So um, maybe they will look past the Flames and start their backup. They've won three in a row. They've won five of six. Uh, they have good players, and as it sits, their good players are playing really well for. Uh, we'll move upwards. Uh, Miko Rantanen has a nine-game point streak. He has four, 14 points in those nine games. And Nathan McKinnon, a 12-game point streak, 26 points. I went to uh, do a little betway hunting today to see yeah. what the, the odds were on the game. Is there game. any McKinnon value out there, Ryan? Well, let me tell you about the value. I told you Jack, and he literally did a spit take. So the uh, the McKinnon, to get a point tonight... Um, minus 600. I was going to say, I, I, if I remember right, it was going to cost you about six hundo <laughs> to make a hundo to win a hundred, which is that's very steep. Um, yeah. you know, like the best flames player be minus minus one fifty. Like, okay. Yeah. That's feels like there might be better ways to spend that six hundo. Yeah. Although uh, you might get the, yeah, I mean, you might get the hundo. It feels like it's a, it's a, it's a very, role. very big bet to win very little, which is suggesting that Nathan McKinnon's very, very good. And we know that he is. I look at this team after the trade deadline and this is a really, really good group. If they get goaltending, why not the apps? But I think we could probably say that about Dallas. I think we're starting to feel a little bit that way about the Jets with the season that they're putting together. You certainly look at the Oilers and the Vegas Golden Knights after the deadline. Uh, Vancouver's having a monster year. And then you go to the East and it's like Florida, Boston, Carolina, New York. Like there are a lot of teams that are like, yep, they could win it. Yeah, as good as the Avs are and have been, they are fourth, the fourth Third best in record in the yeah. Western Conference. Like they would start on the road as a three seed in their division if it was tonight. That is wild. That's a real good division. It's pretty, pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty. Uh, the big uh, additions for them, Nachushkin just returned. I think he was in the player assistance program. Landis Gog has been ruled out until May at the earliest. Middlestad slides into the number two center hole. That was the deal they made for Bowen Byram, who's been real good in Buffalo. Uh, and then they added Trennan, big physical winger from Nashville for their third line, and Duhame, who will play the fourth line from Minnesota. Good team. Sean Walker plays on their third pair. That was their defensive addition. 
from Philadelphia. And Thank getting Nachushkin back, if you, if you want to frame it as the, hey, look, this is one of our deadline ads because they haven't had him for a while. He had 23 goals and 43 points in 41 games. Might have been the best player in the playoffs two years ago when good. they won. He was yeah. sensational. Dace. Dace, as you would That's say. a nice little bet they made when the guy had multiple no-goal seasons and they brought him in and found a star. Mm -hmm. Must be fun. Elite defensive winger that scores 30. Cool. You Some found Mark Stone for nothing. Some bad news, though. Logan O'Connor. The LOC. Done for the year. Calgary kid. Sad. Feel had a for great him. start to the year. A bunch of shorties, a tilt, all in the first couple of weeks. Yeah. One more year on his deal, then he's a free agent. Bring him home. Bring him home, Dean. Well, I Bring him home. Bring him home. Um, so, yeah, it's... Um, now, with how this team has performed, when you think maybe it's going one way, maybe tonight will be an absolute slobber knocker right to the finish. But if you subscribe to the uh what was it, the nitrogen what is it the thing from the flying uh, the, yeah the electronic molecules radiation molecules yeah, and it. all yeah. of that uh so there's that plus they got absolutely thumped in their last game first game back from a road trip very good uh opponent they've played well against very good opponents without chris Tanev and even one without noah hanovan i think your effort level will be a lot higher but you're just there's a skill deficit here you're gonna have to really outwork the abs to win this thing or just have a Jacob Markstrom night, right? I'm concerned about the Markstrom thing. What are you concerned about? Well, Explain just that. I Explain. just don't know if his motivator cuff is going to be turned on anymore. Sadly, I can see so just those... from the weekend or since the whole trade. Oh, no, I just think ago. all of it. I, I, I it wouldn't surprise me one bit if that guy was sitting there going, "I'm going to play my ass off here, and I'm going to try and get traded." And now you're not getting traded, and you're far enough. Like you can, Husky can go in there and try and sell. We're right there. We need a couple wins if we can. Mm. This is a long, it's a big gap to make up to try and get into playoffs. And I, I just wonder if some of those older guys are disheartened now. Like you get rid of your second pair of defense. Yeah, and I agree. And then I also saw them on Thursday where that would have been like right dreaming about Thursday. I just do you mean? don't, I, they weren't that Tampa good. It was so bad. Tampa was yeah, out no, for lunch. I get it. Um, well, but you're, look, you're I'm discount. not here selling this as a good team. I'm telling you that this is a group reloading and that everyone has seen this coming for months. Yeah, but it, no but one's also, surprised they were missing was, Tanev and Hannafin. But right? they had won, they what was is it? Also they won before 14. The trade. Now the trades have happened. Now you're living that reality. You're able to suspend that for a while. Well, maybe, but we're winning some hockey games. We're having fun. Now they've made the trades and they got embarrassed on Sunday. Yep. They are what, 10 out in the division and eight? Well, the wild card's what matters. They're eight back. The, yep. uh, eight back of the wild card. I. Yeah, like I, I, think I hope you're right. I hope it's I hope it's exciting hockey and it's entertaining and they're pros and all of yeah, that. And I'm I just not... wonder to yeah. Rhett's point when you have to be a real professional to keep playing and putting out that kind of effort and performance for the next month and a half. I think possible back will help. I think uh you know we, we'll find out about Zary this morning, I imagine. He was skating while they were on the road trip. Um like it would just be like, we know they can work really hard and, and, and have give good teams tough times. It's going to be harder to do that without a second pair without question. Yeah. And their leadership group has talked about needing to make a statement about bouncing back from how bad it was Sunday. Cause that's probably their worst game of the year. So I think you're going to see a motivated flames team that hasn't quit, but again, they also have whiteboards with the rosters. They know that, they don't have a single position that they look better than the abs do except for starting goalie. I, listen, I'm not trying to sell the fact that they're going into the rink saying we're not going to try at all. I mean, it's just, I think it's very tough. And even if they, you're saying the same thing too. Even if they do try there, it's, it's need a lot. Real battle. They yeah. need a lot. Mm -hmm. You're going to ask a lot from a lot of guys. Now I, again, I said it last week, so I can't be too stupid and not say it's changed. There are guys that need to play and should play their asses off. It's just whether or not they're capable of doing anything with that time, right? So, yeah, and look, they they were overmatched when they beat the Kings, the Oilers, and the Bruins and the Jets four in a row as well. They got a nice little run. 
the you probably get a lot of puck luck in there and some elite goaltending. Those things change a bit. You're losing a bit, but it's it, you know I, I don't think it's seven two losses the rest of the way here. That that was a, an outlier of the of the worst variety on Sunday. Yeah, and I I I wonder if it's not the whiteboard with the rosters. It's that whiteboard with the standings. Just that the All reality is has set in. We're post deadline. There's no reinforcements. We we were winning, and we still sold, and we knew we were going to sell. But in, in, even in those trades, we didn't get anyone coming back. All due respect to Miramanov and, you know. Those are waiver claims. Some, some waiver claims and all of that. So I, I, even if, like, again, I'm just kind of repeating myself. You knew it was coming. But I yeah. think now that now that you have to live it, that would have been a no fun exercise on Sunday. That, getting no getting thumped seven to two. And that's the one thing that you hope is that they take from it is I don't want to to go to the rink like this anymore like getting thumped is no fun it, like let's try to get back on the the train back on the tracks here tonight because you can go compete and at least be in games if you're down four nothing two nothing not getting any shots completely packed at it like that makes for a long month or month plus of what's left so you i do hope they come and play hard I'm just and, and and I don't think they'll completely pack it in. I just think subconsciously there's a lot going on, and the talent level has dropped off, and they can see they're a long way from staying in the in the playoff hunt. Like it's there's a lot going against them right now. Yeah, yeah. And to be fair, they've, there's been lots of junctures this season where it's like, yeah, this isn't going to go well, and it doesn't look good. And other teams have more talent than us. And like, I don't think they've been in a playoff spot since they won the first night of the year at all like ever, all year, which is the smallest of samples. You beat Winnipeg 5-2 on opening night. After that, they go on that road trip and get, what, one win and an overtime or something like that and five? Like, they just haven't been in it. They start 2-7-1, and one, and it's been this chase. And yeah, there's been some hot runs, but they've been followed by cold runs and then more hot runs. And that's why I don't want to get too wound up with, you know, probably their toughest three-game road trip of the year. They play... Three very good teams in less than 72 hours on the road with travel the whole way. Two time zones from where they are. And it happens to be right on the heels of the deadline. Th there was the end of a lot of four game losing streaks that they've had where we thought this team shit, they're no good. And then they turn around and reel off three or four in a row, right? Now that was with Hannafin and Tanev, yes. Right. Um, and, and that is significant. But we all knew if they're going to delete a second pair, there's going to be a lot of guys that wouldn't crack NHL teams playing minutes for this group. That's starting to show up with the quality of chance they've allowed. They do have last change at home. I, I think they'll work hard, but again, it's a massive talent deficit to, against the Avs here. And we do have lineup news. No Zary tonight. Pospisil does return, and it looks like it'll be Pelche on the other side of the Cadre line uh, playing opposite Pospisil. He's the one guy that I, you mentioned Markstrom. I'm the, the motor motivator cuff. I am curious to watch Cadre because we know how last season ended when it looked like his give a crap meter was off real low yeah. and it was, it, it, it wasn't fair to him, his teammates, his coaches, anybody, the way he kind of went out at the end of last season and, yeah, came in this year was and was, you know, he flipped the switch and especially once those kids got on his line. Yep. So how, how does he handle it? Was, you know, was last year cadre down the stretch, what you get, or is this, Hey, no, no, you're, kind of a leader here you, you can't do that especially when there's younger guys around so there's a look at the lineup yep and i would just say based on his performance this year i, I would not expect Kadri to like I, I think he's had a real good year i think it he'll try to keep that continuing I, I understand that it'd be frustrating but none of these guys are shocked at where this team is i know they wish they were in a playoff spot but um <laughs> This was the very likely outcome for this group once you started 2-7-1. and one. So that's, uh, that's about it, I guess. Eh? Uh, let's see, that's, see if, you, if you go to do the lineup before the game, that's not going to motivate them, what we just did. That's no, gotta, if no. we're going in the room, we're going to have a better, we, we have to have a better message if we're going to go down <laughs> to the dome. 
It gets Play the, the highlights where you beat Edmonton, you beat Boston, you beat LA. Like, do that. You we've sucked Pittsburgh before, but then we've yeah. turned it around. That's now, granted, right. We, you know, we had a second pairing then, but hey, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, you got the better goalie. Maybe. We're halfway one through thing, March almost. There's one thing you want, it's the better goalie. If you can pick any position, that's the one. Like to get in his head. Yeah, I wonder where he's at. I sort of thought um, if I was going to try to handicap it, which again is a bit of a dangerous practice, try to get in between people's ears. But when the deal with New Jersey didn't happen, I think you got the sense that it was like, okay, this thing fell apart. You're staying put. We're not going to run you through this gauntlet any longer. And he played great for the month since then. So um, whatever he talked about bothering him in the aftermath of that has not shown up in his play yet. It would be weird for it to show up now. There would also, I, yeah, I, I mean, I just get this in and then we can continue. Uh, service credit union. The service big share is back for the sixth year with your chance to win a million dollars just by saving money. Anyone can enter by becoming a member and saving with service. Every $500 saved gives you five entries into the service big share contest. How, uh, how, so how are ways, how can we, quick ways to earn entries? Save in a daily banking account. Fast track your savings with a high yield savings account. Invest in a GIC. Service has uh, during this contest period with great interest rates and term lengths, save in a TFSA or RRSP for those short and long-term goals. I keep hearing about these things. They're like, hey, you're you're really old. Should, mm -hmm. Do you not think about maybe a TFSA or an RRSP? Uh, da, da, da. Uh, transfer your existing savings to service for chances to win a million dollars. Don't be like, da, da. be smart about it. Contest ends April 30th, 2024. Skill test required for rules. Visit service.ca slash win again service.ca slash win it is the service big share back with a chance to win a million dollars for you uh i guess i was going to say the other there there's micro macro long term short term for markstrom i guess too yeah you went into the you're going to the deadline your name comes up ah really i got term on my contract i don't know and then it's oh there's a chance so you get into that mindset and now you come back as we've talked about. So it's not just the end of the year this year. It's my Calgary flame future. Yeah. To the, to that point, you didn't get a, uh, a first round young stud who's maybe struggling, but you're going to take a chance. You, you didn't get that star caliber potential prospect again. Sorry, mirror man. Um, you didn't get that. And maybe nope. that happens in the off season, but it seems unlikely. And as good as the, the kids have been this year, you're, you're still devoid of a star. You're the star. Yep. The only way that they win any amount of games is on his back. But I just wonder if it's also that bit of a dose of reality that yes, the deadline is gone and I'm still here and I got two years left. And the, the thought process behind me signing here has changed almost completely. It's almost a 180. The buddy that I came to be with, he's gone. He's yeah. not going back. A lot of the star players have gone. I'm just wondering there, there's not a lot of, aside from the paycheck and being a pro, there's not a whole lot of feel good there for Jacob Markstrom. When you, when you look at the career right now, I would think, what am I, what am I doing? They've replaced the uh, Swedish schnapps club with a Russian vodka club here. I don't know if you've noticed that as well. I did notice that. The Sea of yeah. Red Army, is that what they're calling it? I, I believe, yeah. We saw yeah. some images the other day that were quite entertaining. AI is good at this stuff now. Yeah. Um, I, I think uh, the only way they do go get those great young star prospects is trading Jacob Markstrom. And I, I, I think both sides would be very, very uh, probably expecting a transaction this summer. You know, they wanted to move Dan Valdara this year. They didn't, and they probably couldn't. Well, you want to get uh, a, Dustin Wolf more than six starts in three professional seasons at the NHL level. Um, and maybe that it's just, you know, this, if this spirals a bit, there's a great opportunity to get him that. That's what I was, that's what I was just going to ask. Sorry, not to interrupt you there. But no, you're good. I almost feel like it'd be best if Markstrom was told you can play when you want to tell us like, we don't need you. The sad part is they're probably still a little bit too close to just yep. pack it in completely. But from a management and coaching perspective, don't you want 
to see Vladar and Wolf the rest of the way, basically? I do. I don't, yeah, I, don't... I think I, I agree with you entirely. I think it's a couple more points in the gap between the last wild card and, with, yeah. and them and that runway shrinking of games remaining that it's like the formula changes a bunch. It's like, Jacob, you're starting once next week. Tell us which game you want in. The other two, we're getting to look at some guys. Because that's and, the other thing, too, with the coach, right? The coach coaches. Yep. He goes out, stands behind the bench, and we're going to try to win. With what we got, we're going to try and win. Mm -hmm. And the I would say that their chances balance it's on the head of a pin with Jacob Markstrom. You're you got a pretty good chance or a decent chance, or maybe not so much. I'll do respect to uh to no, I would Harvard. think you're probably between five and ten percent. I just wonder at this point. I just wonder it. for yeah, is there a conversation that even has to be had with Conroy and Huska? Or does Huska just continue to do what he does? There might be a chat about trying to see some young goalies in net. But not, not yet. yet. Might, not maybe not quite yet. Maybe nope, not, not yet. Yeah, they lose not these yet. next two games. Then yeah, one hundred percent. And think about this: you've got a really, 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 really good cup contender tonight. Then it's Vegas. It's the Noah Hannafin return game that should be emotionally charged. We'll see. I know Hannafin had some statements yesterday about, "Oh my gosh, I was blindsided by this, like being accused of like controlling the process and this and that." And look, players have agents. He doesn't have to be involved in this sort of stuff for it to get out. But I, I feel like for whatever reason, the Hannafin return, a division rival, that might have a little juice in the building. But if you lose both those games, Vegas holds the second wild card right now. You'd be putting yourself 10 plus points out. Like if, if we're really being logical, do you think you can play 750 hockey and one of these clubs wow. is going to be less than 500 the rest of the way? Like, Well, all the clubs are because there's other teams in between you even. Exactly. Like you're, oh, you're going to pass four teams without a second pair in the last 16, 15 games. We know there. what's coming. Yeah. And so I think, like, I'm I, what Dean's talking about, I think is a very real thing. I just don't know that it's this week. It might be next week. Um, just the way players are wired. Oh, the odds are against us. The odds have been against me my whole life. I grew up in Texas and I was told I couldn't play in the NHL. You're going to tell me that we're done now? Like Coleman believes. But Do you think there was. Get stark soon. Yeah. I need just the good. God damn it. I'll throw that in there. Um, so, do, but do you think there was any part of them, the Flames players, that thought we know Hannafin's a UFA, but they keep trying to sign him, and Tanev's a UFA and all. Do you think that they thought if we keep winning, maybe that gives Conroy a bit of pause? Maybe I, maybe there's enough here. They, they, what was it, 10 of 14? Is that the correct number? They had won 10 of 14 games, I think, after that Tampa game. Anyway. Yeah. That we're playing as well as anybody could be expected to play, regardless of where you are in the standings. We're on a hell of a run here. Maybe they'll resign, whatever, because there was talk. I just wonder if there was maybe a bit of thinking in the room. Maybe they're going to give us a shot here. And then bang, bang, deals are done. No, no NHL reinforcement coming back in. And then that's that dose of reality. Oh shit! So this is this is it. Okay, yeah, I think bodies, it is a dose of reality. NHLers, right? It's like Miramadov and Hanley are there, but they are not second pair defensemen. Yeah, I, they're rolling I, I, out I, three guys that are basically eight or higher on the depth chart on the blue line right now. And one guy which that's is great for them. Hey, months off. We're getting so much ice time. Miramadov got twenty minutes. No, yeah, I well, I'm coming off a new injury. deal. Didn't you sign a new deal? Like, yeah, yeah. Which is a good thing to do rather than have a guy walk a month later. Not if you're calling him an eight. It's not. <laughs> no, he was for Vegas. Um, and so what Craig Conroy is doing is collecting toolsy players and hoping one of them can, hey, look, when he plays more than 29 games in three years and has time to recover from a knee injury, he's actually a five or a six. But again, we don't know. This is going great. <laughs> so who? Well, we've got to get a list of guys that we can talk to. Interviews. Uh, we're gonna have to find Phil <laughs> Space. <laughs> Can't talk about trades. When's you're not draft? excited to see Coronado and Pelche and we you're, are for sure. Your heartthrob Pospisil's back from a three gamer, Dean. Come on now. You should be tucking it under your belt yeah. right now. Just yeah. death marching till April 18th. Uh, hey, look, they started 271. Hey, we thought we'd have a death march hey. by November. This has been I, a lot I of I love your year. positivity. That still doesn't change that it's... Let's 
We're gonna 18 have games. Yeah, and that's a lot less than I think we thought we were looking at for a death. That's a good March. point. It now, granted, they're 18 Christmas. games and, Christmas. and 10 out in the division and 8 out of a wild card. So it's not like with 18 left, they've just fallen out. They've, as you said, Ryan, kind of been out all, all season. Well, I mean, you'd, you'd noted you win 10 of 14, and that was – so at that point, you're like, okay, if not for a Nashville run, we could be in a playoff spot. But Because the they did. Been, you know, and I asked the question, and I, I like that's a legit question, because they looked like a team that was motivated. Mm -hmm. Seeing guys like Coleman and Caudry and those guys, they looked invested. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have known that they were 8 or 7 or 10. They looked like they were two points out. Like tonight's game was going – it was a huge game – in yeah. the whole scheme of their playoff chase. Sure. When really they, like you we said, were, Nashville or St. Louis there went on a bit of a run and Nashville's been so good as a play. They were doing yeah, all this they, winning. They were gaining no ground. They lost ground in those 14 games. But fun. they, they, were, looked, they yeah. looked like they were really a motivated team that had bought in. And I just wonder what they look like now. Yeah. So are you expecting them not to be motivated tonight, that it's all changed over the weekend? Because I, I would understand you've laid out a lot of reasons why that could be the case. Well, it's not the week. It's just the deadline. Yeah. You so sold, I'm lumping that in. It's Friday and you at got, 1. I so just between think the Friday deadline, and today. The deadline, I feel, yes. could, is a tipping point for sure. I do too. I, I, I hate to say it because I don't want to be negative Nelly and this – it's all the shits and it's going to be terrible. They may show up and play hard, but I do think there was a bit of a tipping point. I, uh, I am concerned that all the things that we were actually excited about and proud of them for, in a way, showing up, playing games. There were a lot of moments in this season where it was like, these guys are dead and gone. Totally. And they and bounce back and play. That's why I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt here, right? Because yeah, we well, you can, and they can prove us wrong yeah. again. I'm fine with it, absolutely. No, I, and I'm, look, I'm I mean, happy to be done. I'm not expecting them to go out and beat teams that are much better than them or better than them with any sort of regularity. I think it's, but what as long as they're working, that that is the crucial ingredient here. Yes. What you don't want is a group that has veterans that have quit, and so until we've seen it, they haven't quit, and there's and been. That, and, and the game I, against the, against Carolina, I was sorry to jump on you there. I, I don't think it was that they quit. It was they were they were just so they just were they looked like they were shell shocked, right? It looked like yeah, they were bagged. That's the tightest Holy three crap. game window they have in their whole season on the road against an excellent team, and they weren't good. It was a shitty performance. It didn't look like quitting. Yeah, it just looked like they were underwater. Yeah, and then they were like fuck. It was. Again, we said halfway point of the game, the shots are on pace to be 44-10. Part of the problem is how the schedule has played out for them, right? Like, they, if they'd have had a couple days off, instead of playing Florida and Carolina back-to-back -back after a trade deadline, I think that would have been beneficial. Let it kind of... Coming back from this road trip, having Colorado is not a... <laughs> then Vegas. <laughs> and then Vegas, right? Huh? I'm not... Anyway, it, I... Prove us wrong again. Go yeah, and, and I guess like we, we could play both sides of it. It's like they're out, the vets are going to quit, but then we also say, oh, they're out of it, and this is where these bad teams go on runs because everyone's loose and kids are – Yeah, but are, they are, haven't they, – They've got opportunities. So you could – like would anyone be surprised if, if if Montreal or Buffalo or Columbus goes on a run in the last – But I here? think Buffalo and Montreal uh, and those teams have been out of it, and they're just playing – they've been, they've, yeah. they've played out of it hockey for – for sure. For months. Rather than have just fallen it's, out of it. And it's yeah. different, right? When you yeah. get slapped in the face and you finally realize that, oh, I guess this is, it is turning out the way we hoped it wouldn't. Anyway, I, I got, we're, we're reading tea leaves. I so think it's kind of turned out the way we hoped it would. Like th they are very much in range for a top 10 pick here. But not well, as that, a Yeah, it's two different things. It's, it's what we wanted or what yeah. we saw. Yeah. It's, no. I'm just uh, from their perspective. Yeah, no, and I get it. Like for the players, it's tough. I just, I'm seeing a lot of fans hand wringing that have been saying, you know, get out of the mucky middle. It's like, well, you don't get out of the mucky middle and become a contender. You got to get bad first. Like this is I know, it's... absolutely part of the process. If you were saying get out of the mucky middle, this is what you're asking for. And, and we it talked isn't about, bad yet. Like yeah. they're still over 500. Can you stack up Jack? Like the wild card? Uh, yeah, the wild card ones. Because uh, we talked about it yesterday. You, you can't, 
Uh, shake up the core. We need to rebuild. So then you trade a bunch of guys. Well, no! these, tra these oh, trades oh, aren't any good. Bad. And now we're not. Now we're losing all these games. We're not very good. So well, yeah, that's how this thing works. It's like kinda... this team that started two seven and one and looked like maybe one of the worst three or four hockey teams in the league is three games over five hundred in mid March. This is almost like Cinderella shit when you consider how bad it was in October. Problem is, they're not going to probably drop too far. How about those Ducks, though? Hey, 49. Jeez, that's nice. Chicago. Yeah, oh, that's Chicago. that's been a long walk through the desert for the Ducks. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of on their second rebuild here within one. Yeah. Hey, no. March 23rd, we're going to be at Greta. No, oh, baby. We're going to be having a night at Greta. It is going to be, uh, we're going to be back in the alley, we believe it's called, over at Greta. You can get tickets. Raising, last time we did uh, Closer to Home, we're going to have a little charity angle there. We're going to have a little something, give them back. Ten bucks to get in. There's going to be drinks. There's going to be food. We're going to have a heck of a good time, win or lose. It don't matter. Flames in the Vancouver Canucks. It's a road game and we'll be at Greta. And if if you're like, oh, these guys, I don't know. Go, go play some vids, you know? Go shoot some hoops. Do whatever you got to do. To, you're going to have a good night. You're going to have it's a good a built night. built-in insurance policy, Dean. Like when the last one we had was Edmonton. That's it's a bit into the... Uh, that was... That was the, they boogeyman were in the closet, greatest fears, nightmare fuel type situation. They've got two of the best players in the world. It's a team that clearly is rebuilding. If that went sideways, you just go play whack-a-mole. Okay? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't. It was great it's whatever you need to get you through the yes. night it's there for you uh 213 10th avenue southwest you're gonna get a little game card you're gonna get some drink specials it's gonna be a good time we had a we had a rip a rip snorter last time now granted the flames would they leave for nothing in that game it was a heck of a night got a great start time. wasn't it yeah, it was hospice was in the mix it got feisty at the end yeah yeah like Real coleman good. and matthias yanmark fought oh yeah what yeah Fight. thugs Tickets available at nationgear.ca to come and uh, hang out with us at Greta. I don't, I want to know who won the the uh, the Mario, the Mario Kart, Kart Sunday. You can find yeah. out. Uh, what if I told you it was Bill Terwilliger? Awesome, love then Bill. Like, oh, narrowly sure edged out Jim McGillicuddy in the final. Oh boy, I yeah. I had my money on McGillicuddy to be mm -hmm. honest, but uh, old Terwilliger, he's been playing it a long time. He hasn't left his house in months. 213 10th Avenue Southwest, uh, our spot is Greta. Uh, what else is going on? What else do we want to... Uh, any more Jersey retirements? You got any more... Uh, yeah, what's next? Fancy, dancy affairs that you got going on? I don't think there's anyone else... I don't think I'll ever attend another Jersey retirement. I don't know... Uh, Ooh, I got one for you. Who will be the last player playing that you suited up alongside? Like, I think your last full year was 06, 07. Right? Oh, seven, oh, eight. So which was the year where they paid you and you didn't play? That was oh, eight, oh, nine. nine. Okay. So oh, seven, oh, eight was the last season you played, played. I'm thinking about your last teammate that'll still be playing. Did you go I to camp at, even in 08, 09? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm yeah, going to consider be. that. I guess because you were on the ice. You have to go fail his physical or something. Yeah. Well, then it's Backlund because Backlund was there then. Yeah, but there'd be someone younger than that, I bet. Not much younger. What year was yeah. he drafted? Well, and he's aged well. That's true. He's already 35 and he's had two more years. That's going to be your last <laughs> of all oh, the guys. Man. Michael Backlund's going to be your last touch to the league. My boy. Backlund. Unless there was some other young draft pick. But the thing I remember is a lot of those draft picks didn't pan out. Daryl was good at a lot of things. The draft was not necessarily the is, uh, uh, top of his hierarchy. Chris Chucko or Greg Nemus or. Nemus is no, no. Any of those guys still playing? Yeah. What about uh, Leland? Is Leland still uh, stopping pucks out there? He's a stick. He's golfing. Um, I don't know oh. that he's <laughs> playing much hockey. Okay, good, good, good. He was a third stringer when I was an average. <laughs> That's the ultimate slap that. in the face is when the guy you take in the first round is better at golf than he was at hockey. Shit. Mm. Multi-sport athlete. I love that. Yeah. Wrong sport. Kids play all the, play all the sports. Don't... Uh, don't, don't just specialize, specialize too early, Dean. Yeah, don't do it. So you think you'll never go to another Jersey retirement? Not with someone that I played with. Yeah. Wouldn't be anyone left, would there? Nope. What if Backlund gets retired? You're probably not in that inner circle. Okay. Oh, thank God, get invited. No. Although there's a lot of skid alumni that just show up at all this stuff. So You need to Although, add that. Uh... 
Why would you say that about Dion Phaneuf? I mean, no, I was he and Kipper were tight. Why 80. would you call Dion? Skid? He was talking about Patter. He wasn't I talking. I was about talking about the '89 group with their fancy. <laughs> all, any, any chance he can get to get a well, shot? I in. know. Yeah, I know. Uh, we'll get into the Pinder report. It's a presentation of Village Honda. Mm-hmm. It's as though Honda designed the CRV for Calgary and it's unpredictable weather. It don't matter the conditions, y'all. The CRV sits atop the pack among compact SUVs. You will feel confident behind the wheel of your CRV as Honda has included a plethora of driver safety features that come standard. Village Honda, located in the uh, the Northwest Auto Mall and online at village dot uh, villagehonda.com and village presents Ryan Pinder. Ryan Pinder. Ryan Pinder. the Pender Report. Calgary Flames game day. Look, you want reason to get excited. They're breaking out the blasties tonight. Engage, oh, baby. Mode. Yes. Rasmus. Oh, f- Let's go. Dylan Dubé. Remember Dubé in the blasties? God, he was good. Uh, 7 o'clock start tonight against the Avalanche. There'll be some Calgarian content. Kale McCarr returning home. We know that. Here's the look at the wild card. Again, Flames find themselves eight points out. Do you know? Yeah. What would a win tonight do for you? Not a lot. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and play hard and lose by one or one and a half, depending on our Betway bets. We'll visit those later. The schedule looks like this for the Flames after the Avs tonight. The rest of the homestand sees Vegas on Thursday. Noah Hannafin's return. Then the single visit of the year from the Montreal Canadiens, which is always exciting at the Dome. And then Ovi's only visit on Monday. For a team out of it in March, that's actually a pretty good run of games to go watch. Four in a row. You get your Colorado Macar content. You've got the Hannafin revenge match. Then Habs, always fun, and Ovechkin. For sure. Homestand. For sure. It's a for sure. For sure. As for uh, the Colorado Avalanche, they look like this. Our Turi Lekkanen is under construction, Dean. Not unlike 34th Avenue here in Marta oh, Loop. Nice, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, but maybe ready for tonight. Not unlike 34th Avenue in Marta Loop. We'll right. more on that in a moment. He was ill and did not skate yesterday or Sunday, I believe, but uh, could go tonight. We'll see. He McKinnon and Ranton in your top line. Nachushkin is back. The debut, I believe, of Casey Middlestad is his first tonight alongside uh, Drewen on the left. And then, yeah, it's a nice bottom six of guys. Duheim and Cogliano and Kivy Ranta, your fourth line. Okay. Blue line looks good. Taves McCarr, Gerard Manson, third pair, bubble toes with Sean Walker from Philadelphia. It's a good team. We'll see whether it's Justice Anandin or Alexander Georgiev tending the twine tonight. Does it matter with this team? I, I often wonder. Well, I wonder. I do they wonder. They up with Kemper, who is good, but certainly not bound for the Hall of Fame. Well, I, where would you put uh, Georgiev, Kemper, and Ananen in that power ranking? I this year? Kemp- I, I don't think I would know. Have Kemper- Georgiev's had a good year. Uh, and again, Francois is hurt because he's always hurt. Right. Pavel. It doesn't seem like the goaltending matters. And when you watch the Avs win the cup, the goaltending was adequate. It was not special. It didn't need to be. It was a dynamic roster. Yeah, 2.85, a 902 save percentage. And lots of wins. 33, 15, and (laughs) 3. Only games uh, over 500. Only Thatcher has more victories. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't know that it matters. For the Flames, you'd expect Markstrom to go, given that Dan Vladar got the long walk on the short pier on Sunday. Yeah, he's still uh, he's still wiping off sweat. He is. Oh God! They, there was a replay of that where Aho's passing it back and forth, and it's just like zip, 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 bang, and you're like, oh my God, the puck movement, and it just turns to him, and he's had to like lunge left and right like five times, and he's like hunched over, sweat dripping off his nose, and you're like, this is midway through the first. This poor bastard. Vladar's like on his tiptoes, looking at looking at Huska. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm ready. You go. You want to do it? If you pull me, you need to get a forklift. I can't even move. <laughs> I, I've had you two see, see scoreboard from there. You can see it from there. That's that's like five now. Is that that's the six? Next, the nice thing in Carolina is that that the exit by the, right the first and third is right there. Yeah. So it's just just wheel yeah, them right out. Steps. 
Um, okay, let's go to the Central Division. We showed you it. They're right in the dogfight are the Avs. This we t- we've mentioned earlier in the show. It's just look at this. Like you're telling me two of those three clubs are going to meet in round one. That is going to be a serious battle, and there's probably a lot to play for. First overall might get a Nashville rather than somebody else in this group, although Nashville 10-0-2 and in their last 12. Okay. Last night uh, in the NHL, we had some Matt Rempe stuff, but first let's go overseas where the NHL this morning has announced they're going back to Europe at the Global Series. Uh, look at this. Sabres, Devils, Stars, and Panthers heading overseas. The Sabres are going to run a training camp in Germany. They'll have a exhibition game against Red Bull Munich and the other matchups. Devils and Sabres will play twice in Prague. Stars and Panthers will play twice in Demper, Finland. Demper. Demper. Cool. So you got to, uh, how many months to weasel into that Sabres alum so you can get on that trip? Yeah, you know, I if you call, like Prague. I could call Ashik. I'm sure he could put in a word for me. You're on record as saying that's a load of hooey playing these regular season games in Europe. I don't think it's good for the teams at all. Well, Ottawa did it this year. Awful for them. Leafs have been okay. I don't know. Hooey. 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 They're hooey. having training camp in Germany? Who's the, who do they They will have? wrap their training camp with an exhibition match. Oh. I don't know how long they're going to be over there, but I mean, why not? Shit. Is, the, is Buffalo that nice that you... We'll see. Definitely uh, brought, bratwurst or whatever they would have over there. Get all fat. Great beer over there, Rat, eh? Great Alt. beer. Mm. The best. Mm. Fresh. Calgary and Matt Rempe's at it again. Do you know this is not good? Yeah, he turned away. down a fight Another from Curtis McDermott and then mm. bonk. He gets a left elbow up. Jonas Siegenthaler. Yogan could cuss to have a faller. No, it's, uh, this is going to be a uh, who. Uh, and then Curtis That's McDermott post game said, be a man after a, a, the hit that he had on Bastion. The last time these two clubs met, he should have an, answered the bell and the department of player safety. You can have a little chit chat with uh, young Matthew. Yeah. So that was his third match penalty already. Third Dean. Third. Not ideal. No, he's getting noticed though. Rhett That's get noticed. True. Any, uh, what do they say? What, uh, any, any PR is good PR. Yeah. No such thing as bad press. Good. Uh, all press. Good press. Uh, that was a, uh, that was an elbow. On yeah. The right. You were on miss, and then you said, the hello. How many games? I'll say three. Yeah. It's gotta be three to five. And it's his third match like penalty. One. Five. So I think to go five or more, you need an in-person. They didn't announce that, but so let's round down to four. How's that? Thank you. Good. Four lot. Well, and, and I'll ask you guys, it, does George Peros and the Department of Player Safety feel a need to, especially with a young kid that they're seeing repeated bad decisions? Like, do they have to make a statement to him or yes. try to, like, is that part of this thing? Or is it just like, nope, it, this is the player. This is the incident. This is the, the fine. Pospisil got three. This, this I think, is higher profile and yeah. and probably dirtier. That's that's not a body check. Yeah. That's leading with the elbow to the head. Uh, I mean, Pospisil was coming in to take the body. Was it dirty? Yeah, I mean, a dirty it was a bad hit. hit. Yeah. But this is more intent to injure, I would say. Dirty hit, dirty elbow, both dirty. Both going to get so suspended. So dirt, dirty, 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 so dirty. NHL tonight, boy, a lot of games. Are they, what, 10 non-Flames games, Dean? Yeah. Oof, that's a lot. It's yeah, 10 uh, games, Ryan. You nine got non-Flames games, as you're always saying. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Some gems in there we'll revisit, but a full slate. Uh, some very, very nice divisional battles, as well as some cup contenders going head-to-head. We'll revisit with DoorDash later in the show. And, the ducks, and oh. the ducks in Chicago. Uh, must watch. This is the beauty about a 10-game slate, Brett. Hey, Ryan. Yo, how, many, Dean. How, how many non-flame games? Uh, ten. Nine. Nine. nine how many nine. non-flames games? Nine non-flames. Games. Nine times. <laughs> Sorry, one more time there. Nine times. Thank you. Nine times. Nine times. Nine. Nine. 
<laughs> if you've been around a while, you're you're happy right now. And if you're you, welcome. Yeah, if you've been around for a few years, you're 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 welcome. Mm-hmm. If you're new, sorry. Yeah, we're also. Yeah. You're welcome and you're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. Calvary FC got dusted in that CONCACAF tournament, didn't they, fellas? Orlando City put the hammer down, but uh, fear not. The Canadian Championship gets underway in April. Cavalry will host Vancouver FC, the second-year outfit, who I believe plays at a Langley or Surrey. That is their opening round matchup. It's a single leg, so if they win, they will move along. And this, of course, involves all professional, professional Canadian soccer teams, so you see some MLS teams in there as well, such as, you know, Toronto FC, Vancouver Whitecaps, and the Montreal team. Impact? Sure. They'll enter at later stages of the tournament. That's on your calendar. Late April. We're not that far away, Red. Footy, coming back. Dak Cofield. Let's go. Let's get to some dumb shit. Now, finally. What? There's nine NHL games. We did Flames, the Sked, Soccer, Dumb Shit. Global series, Rempe hit, suspension talk. Ah, I guess so. All right. It's very sportsy, Dean. We got to get moving okay, here. Okay, yeah, this no, sorry. Getting in shit. the way. We're going to change that right now. So we had everyone in the studio last week. Two shows later, look what we're missing. It's finally done out here. There's no vibrating. There's no... They've finished the construction. Marta Loop is back. Welcome to the new and improved best place in the world. That looks way better. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Brand new. Hear the birds chirping. Looks great. Is that like so good. Just asphalt. It's half a sidewalk and half asphalt. Beverly Hills, eh? And then dirt. And just some gravel. Isn't it great? So That's good. What we've had it for a year and a half. It's finally worth it. Short-term pain. Love it. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Speaking of totally worth it, the kiss cam, kind of a little tired. Every now and then, you get a gem. For example, my sister and I were on once. That did not go well. This one went a little better. Let's have a look. Oh, That's nice. Panthers game. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. What a gal. Now, what's weird, I think Jack mislabeled it because he wrote down keeper. What's up with that? There's a goalie in there? No. And look at I just Odd. one, two, two seconds. That poor kid with the big club. And well, yeah, it's now, you don't know if, pretty now cool. listen, you don't know if it was the kiss cam. You're assuming it was the kiss cam. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe the first two couples there, they didn't get it right. What cam would it have been, Dean, where that would have made sense? <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out to the slopes, shall we? Now, Rhett the Shoveler, very keen. She's an athlete, but sometimes you little bite off a little more than you can chew. Here she is. Oh, Long time oh. to fall. Oh, don't was, worry. She's got that it. That was rock. Nope. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> and Stop. I love that it, you can hear everyone in the chairlift watching this. Stop oh, that man, one, right. You know what? Caught that one branch or she had it. Mm, mm. Could have been worse, to be fair. It really could have been worse. Yeah. Tease and peace. Uh, what about sledding behind a truck? This feels like a uh, Saskatchewan prairie activity. Damn right. A little tow rope from the boat in the summer. Throw it on the back Rope's of the too truck. Short. It's a short rope. That rope is <laughs> way too short. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. Looking back, Rhett, it's a good thing it wasn't longer. Oh, are we? Uh, are we not looking at the, the oncoming traffic here? Is it so that we're snowy? We're doing that on a on a, on a road. Oh, didn't realize they were on a road. That looks like a caravan. That's not good. That's not going to end well. Oh, I think that's a Honda Pilot, actually. Is that right? Okay, I think so. One of the most yeah. safe and reliable vehicles on the road today. Cars, the though. Honda Pilot. Dean, I'm going to give you a no crocodile guarantee for this video. But not the other ones. <laughs> oh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Have a listen. Now, first off, what are we swimming in here? This A seems ripe for a crocodile attack. If you freeze frame it, I'm saying this guy's getting eaten by a crocodile. And B, you can't choose to be in this here. This is, um, no. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> oh, like if he gets unco- knocked unconscious there, how do you get him? He's lost in this. Holy, it's good night, sweet prince. Holy smokes. Not a lot of uh, sympathy from his buds. No, no it's... they thought it was funny. Yeah. Yeah. So there's some ribs, some neck, <laughs> head, and some real whiplash. Shoulder. In there. There's some CTE in there. And there might have been already, to be fair. <laughs> and for the decisions. And, y- you know, there's something in that water. Oh, yes. Yeah. There's not nothing in there. No, you might just have some sort of a disease they didn't know existed or... You know, an infection of sorts coming out of there. Never mind the risk of getting eaten. How about a palate cleanser, Dean? Oh, yeah. Didn't know they had this flavor of taco shell. A little curious. I'm, dude. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Dean. Look at that. Oh, are you kidding me? Dessert taco shells? I'm, I'm Hello. Doing I'm doing this for the kids. They're gonna I don't mind them. that at all. Yeah, see? They're Let's go. love that. And that's, uh, so, you know, nice little break in the Pinder Report. Now let's get back to some chaos. We love a good hot air balloon ride, right? Of course. Yeah. Now, I don't know the rules about where and when and how it works and what the weather conditions are, but after watching this, I do believe there are certain places you don't want to be in a hot air balloon. Everybody get back! Everybody get back! Thanks to that guy. Yeah, thanks. Because I was thinking of getting closer. Yeah, that huge explosion. After seeing that, that, help. Yeah. I definitely needed to go in for a closer look. Oh, goodness. So I'm thinking away from power lines is a better move. But again, I don't know if they have steering wheels. How do you move those things around? One idiot almost ran into my house in Calgary. I'm not sure. That's right. I do remember you telling that story about 10 years ago. It was beautiful. How do you remember that, that deal? How did it go again? He almost ran into my house. We were standing on the back deck there, floating over the lake. Mm-hmm. And this, this guy you had just, video just, of that too, right? Yeah. I was going to throw him a beer. I'm like, you need a drink or something? <laughs> looks <laughs> like, help! Yeah. Help! looks help! like you're coming in. Uh. Uh, if you're some, some places you gotta grind. Who was it? Leatherdale. Wasn't there Leatherdale? It was, remember? yeah. Well, see, Grant, two separate Grant things. Leatherdale. There was a name and you were like, you were guessing people's occupations by name. And then you'd also had the air, air balloon incident. Yeah. Quite a time. Balloon operator. <laughs> hot air balloon pilot, I think was, is that what it was? You were a pilot of the uh, hot air balloon. Yeah. They got that uh, one button on or off for the fire. <laughs> A lot of training. <laughs> Do I want flames or off? Flames or off? I got a sandbag. Don't know what it does. Ways to say did, whether it's inside or outside the bag. The sandbag. How did that become a thing? <laughs> let's, Hot air let's, ballooning? Let's get a, like, do you just happen to have a balloon that big and thought it to was, strap a, it was a, war. a bucket to it? It? Was, it was war, Dean. They used to go up to in the air to uh, get a visual uh, of the mm-hmm. oncoming army strategic locations uh and th- so is there are we talking zeppelins or is this the origin of the air balloon the hot air, the air balloon? balloon okay the air balloon hmm. mm-hmm. that's a great vantage point, point. if we great took it i'm sure it is uh but just the thought it's like so, some guys invented the plane <laughs> some someone invented the helicopter and then somebody thought, let's take a bed sheet and blow some <laughs> hot air into it. Oh, this was way before the plane. And see, and then strap a bucket to it. See, now, if they had a hot air balloon in uh, ancient Greece, that Trojan horse, they would have seen it coming. It would not they have, have yeah. fooled them. So yeah. that's what necessitated the hot air balloon. So the first hot air balloon, what's going in? Like a cat? Because <laughs> you're, you're you're not going in there yourself. You're, you're going to test yeah. this thing. It's like Are when you, the Russians went to space, they send like well, some monkeys up first. They're like, yeah, ah, right? not humans yet. Let's just see how it goes with the monkeys. <laughs> Has anyone seen Snickers? <laughs> Snickers! The cat can't Snickers. pull the handle. It's no cat. It's a, it's a dumbass in there. <laughs> Snickers! <laughs> Jump. So if you had to pick your occupation, would you rather be a hot air balloon pilot or would you rather be some guy that has to hold targets that people throw axes at? Segway. Got to grind if you're a street performer, Rhett. Give you a lot of credit. 
It's okay. He's throwing axes. He's got to hit them in the logs. They're not sticking in. There we go. There we go. It's no. an animal, right, Dan? <laughs> Come go. on. Well, see, that the easy ones are done. Now you got the head and you got the family oh, jewels. Yeah. <laughs> so how are we doing here? Look at Jack, face. press pause. Jack, Jack, press pause. No, no, no. Hang on, pause. guys. Hang on. Oh, see? Nailed it. But it didn't stick. So, oh, God. He blinked on that one. <laughs> Let this end. <laughs> one more to go. I was going to say, so if you're in that predicament, the, the four on the sides are done. Now you've yeah. got the head and the crotch. You get to pick which one he's tossing to oh, next. Which God. are you picking? See, I feel like he's got some protection under that fancy pink think legging so? thing. Uh, so, like I, but, but if he doesn't, that makes it a whole lot harder. Because there's no protection on his face. I can see that clearly. I don't care where they go. I just want those pants. <laughs> Should have worn those to Kipper Knight. <laughs> bottom? Does it stick? So he he kind of falls out. Bottom then top, right? Is it missed the scratch and then nailed the... Uh... Oh, he blinks. <laughs> God, that's scary. Whew. Well, I mean, they're professionals. Nothing to worry about, right? I'm going hot air balloon. Thanks. Hot air balloon's probably good. Now, this is Cirque du Soleil, so these are pros. Uh, they got a similar thing going. You got the apple on the head, right? Ryan... What? It's a bow and oh. arrow. Right in his ear. Damn it. Right in the earage. They're pros. They're not going to miss. Oh, dear. Wink. <laughs> That's called dart ear. <laughs> dart ear. Hmm. Thanks, Jack. Well done, buddy. There's only three to go. I have croc one, croc two, <laughs> oh. and launch. <laughs> launch. Let's start with Croc One. Great. Yeah, that's where I would have started. Chester. <laughs> Chester. <laughs> now, again, <laughs> there's a common thread here. This crocodile has not broken into this man's home. He has entered the crocodile's home. And he's messing with it, rubbing his nose. What the hell are we doing here? I'm on Team Croc now. Get him. I've been on Team Croc for a while. This guy's asking for it. See? No sweat. Hey, Quick reflexes. Go down low. Stay low. You're gonna go just Don't the tap the croc. Is that Frank Bannon? Needs another pair of boots. Oh, boy. <laughs> Team croc, one nothing good guys. One nothing good guys. <laughs> now, does he need a tetanus shot if everything below his wrist is gone? I don't know how that works. Jesus. <laughs> now, Ozzy Brad and his buddies, they were out in the outback trying to get some logs out of a stream. Now, these guys certainly, they're, you know, the Australians are familiar with crocodiles. They know what to do, what not to do. Let's let's pick it up live. We're just trying to get a uh, few logs out of the water here. We're pulling all these logs up over there. Uh, Having a bit of a hard time here. We've got a little friend that's come and visited us. Oh! Ah, go away. Can't, can't get any work done. He keeps following us around the flat. How are we going, Tommy? You got this sorted? Yeah, man. Oh, mate, he's <laughs> handy, but he wouldn't freaking give us a hand. <laughs> See, I don't know. I this, mean, this Jesus. It looks like the Croc's house. Come on. It? Oh, it looks like the Croc's right. house. It doesn't Not. look. Give it up. Give it up. Oh, he's yelling at him. So get out of here. Like Trying to get some work done. Hey. Anyway. Anyway, what? Oh, wait. Got him on the snow. Oh, oh, wait. Here. Stay. Stay. <laughs> All right. So we got a little pulley system set up there. No one gives a shit about your pulley system. Yeah, we don't pulley care system. about the logs, the logs pal. Out. Make a little track for us to get through. As you see, big cyclone yeah, come through, on. taking down this tree. So we're just opening her up a little bit. Yeah, I got it. Do they smell fear? Like, how are these guys? What are you guys doing? Look at this. They're bad. You don't show fear, dude. Aussies are built different. They just are. Okay, hey, help me with this log. I will. I'm just holding back this. Hang on. I got this 20 foot, foot rock. <laughs> Can't you do it yourself? Jesus. Last one is called launch. You'll launch. see why very quickly. This is a backyard party that went next level. I have FOMO. Look at the height, fellas. Are we four stories up? Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Mm. Oh. So they probably tried it with one, and you got some good distance, but um, then two, two guys, one chick. <laughs> See, now that I think is fun. Yeah. I don't know where you buy one of those things. And then, of course, you need some sort of a elevated back. platform. Oof. And probably a little bit better. I mean, do something. I just, it pans right. I'm like, when does this pond end? Because this has gone way out of orbit. But I mean, you got to get into a cannonball or something there. Can She's opener. doing the old uh, run in the air thing, the running man. But that doesn't seem to do what she wants it to accomplish. No, you're done. Wow. And look at, they're not even interested, some of them. Yeah. It's Rhett's backyard party. We'll see you there on the summer solstice. That's your Pinder report on a Tuesday for Village Honda. Huge selection of pre owned vehicles, all makes, all models, all budgets. Over 90 units on site, access to more than 500 more inside the dealership group. It's why Village Honda is and should be your one-stop automotive destination in Calgary. They are worth the trip. Located in the Northwest Auto Mall, your dealership for life. I just want to fly. Who is that? Sugar Ray? Yeah, sounds like it. Yeah. Wrapped up minor hockey on the weekend. I'm going to miss all the uh, Timmy trumpet we've been blasting for the last six months. Done. Win song. Uh, it's on the playlist and there's a lot of practices and games, but uh, yeah. Yeah. The old Edwin Diaz, the closer, whatever his name was for the Mets. Yeah. Yeah. It's a banger. There's a lot of Tommy trumpet in the playlist. Tommy trumpet. Timmy. Timmy. I'm not sure. But I know which one you're talking about. Timmy trumpet. Sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah Season yeah. piece. Uh, Douglas Mattress has been named Canada's best mattress on Canadian living. Look at that. See that there? What is that? It's a mattress and free betting bundle. What? Free? Douglas.ca slash Flames Nation. What? Yeah, that's right. Loved by more than 200,000 Canadians, over 10,000 five-star reviews. You avoid pushy salespeople. You order online. Shows up at your doorstep with free shipping, coast to coast to coast. And, well, how does it work? Well, it comes inside the box, and it's vacuum sealed, and you just kind of get the, open the plastic, and it inflates <sighs> to full size right there in, I'm guessing, your bedroom is where you might. That's the place you want to do it. You open it in the wrong room, you got more problems than you need. Risk-free trial, best in the industry. 365 nights you try it you don't like it you get a full refund no questions asked douglas will donate these mattresses to local charities so it's all good all the way around and you see it there the free bedding bundle yeah free That's two right. memory foam pillows with pillow protectors a luxurious cotton sheet set and a mattress protector that's like a 650 dollars value for free when you order a Douglas mattress now using that web address, douglas.ca slash flamestation. Uh, I've been using mine for like uh, be close to a month now. Love it. Love it as much as I did night one. Still, I'm, I'm, I'm a Douglas guy. I got to do the big last night. Oh, because you're solo. 10 days. Yeah. So as long as the crocodiles stay at bay. Very nice. Otherwise, it'll be a longer stay. <laughs> Or yeah. short one. They're made right here in Canada. Are the Douglas mattresses ensuring the highest quality materials, fastest delivery to you? Again, what's what's holding you back? You get the free bedding bundle, the 365 night risk free trial. We love it. We think you will too. Go and check it out. Douglas.ca slash flames nation. Love it. Uh, one guy today, everyone, it's like mama leaves and things just are different, right? Even if nothing's changed, it's like everything's 615. He's up today. Two days after daylight savings of all the days yeah, yeah. to be up extra early, like two hours earlier than last week. Now, just to go back, um, because when you said because your wife's away, so you had it looked mm. like you had you could spread out of the, you're very disappointed she's gone. It's not like you're happy. It seemed like oh, maybe yes, yeah. No. You know, last night I just got to oh I was uh, it, it's like so great. My wife's not here. That's not what you were you know, it's just uh I am I'm just full of all kinds of different emotions, Dean. Got it's it. it's okay, a yeah. real roller coaster yeah i had two weeks alone it was it was hard you okay 
Yeah. Yeah. It was very difficult. Yeah. No, that's why we have each other. It's more of a support group than a show, really. It's for all of us to just get through day to day. So where are your kids at with uh, the hockey? Are they done? Mine? I have yeah. the, the oldest kid has states this weekend. If we win, we got nationals in early April. If we lose, sayonara. So it's just the teams in New York, or is states different than that? I mean, we're being too no. liberal. No, that's, yeah, New York State. Or whatever championships. Okay. And, uh, yeah. and so, where would you heading in Buffalo has got to be a favorite, or are there teams in other cities in New York that we? Uh, there is a school called Bishop Kearney, K E A R N E Y, in Kearney? Rochester. So okay. they uh, they steal kids from all over the country and from Canada. So oh. it hopefully, should be between us and them, but we'll see. Uh, interestingly enough. I may be suspended for. Uh, Come set, on! That tournament, yeah. Is this the fallout from the uh, Port Huron event? No, not at all. This oh. is a. Uh, this is a uh, technical glitch. Okay. You didn't do your paperwork. Uh, I didn't uh, answer an uh, email. Uh, I missed an email. So, or Dean, are you getting this? This is or two, or maybe. Three. How many strikes and you're out? I I don't play ball, but I've heard it's three. <laughs> right. Did you tell yeah, them you no. don't get emails on your phone? Because that's what you've been telling us for almost two years. Now. Uh, I should maybe, about. yeah. I don't get emails on my phone. Yeah. On a yeah. level what, of one. Now, in hindsight, yeah. what did these emails say? It said that if in order to not be suspended and be eligible to coach in the uh, state championships, you're going to have to attend a Zoom meeting. Regarding? Damn, if I know I wasn't there. Anger management? This wasn't a fallout from an event? It might just be protocols? Maybe no, this is for don't... all of the coaches, apparently. If you're coaching, everyone has to attend the Zoom meeting, and I didn't. Now, who's the assistant coach that's supposed to be all over all this stuff? Because they know that you can't even manager. What a team manager, come on, yeah. Ed. Hmm. You don't have that uh, that drunk running. The so team, you, do you you received multiple emails saying you were going to have to get in contact with the powers that be, and you didn't do that. Hang on one second. Yeah, I'm yeah. just going to click over to the emails and see if they're still there. You do have the emails. <laughs> Well, I just got them because I finally... How did you even see the emails? I just got them. When were they sent? Yeah, Do you have the dates is it possible there. to see what just dates? Just read the dates for us. There's three of them. Mm, hang on. Because there's one thing for sure. Email, so unreliable. Computers... Know is coming in. Uh, keep talking. I got to find it. Okay. Do you know your level of surprise here on a scale of one to ten? Uh, one's too high. If no, no, no. Like zero, zero to, would be not surprised, and ten would be very. No, surprised. I need you to do a zero to ten, yeah. so that I can then say zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> is there is anything lower than zero? I'm not great great at math. I don't know that you could go into negative numbers because it's a scale. Like you couldn't be less surprised than not surprised at all. My brain right? turned off as soon as he said I missed an email. So well, yeah, yeah, I know. Bright today, dark tonight. I like, there's no surprise at all in there. Zero. Uh, well, I put something in there, Jack. Uh, I don't. We don't. I don't ordinarily do this. It's not about uh, you know. Don't try and be cocky or you know bashful. You just kind of oh whatever things or whatever. But I put a uh, a little thing in the drive there, Jack. Oh, we're gonna see now. Third request. Go the other way. Yeah. Third request as per USA Hockey <sighs> National Guide. Oh boy. Uh. Now it's hard to see for whatever reason. Anyway, yeah. third. Third rat. Jeez. Mark Lamar really wants oh. to talk to you. If you read that bold, it says you'll be suspended. So. Yeah. Well, they are bold. They're, 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 they're sticking to their word. Give them credit. Did you try to play the NHL card, like the alumni thing? Like, oh, I've been so busy with uh, NHL. I was just in Calgary. We were raising Listen again, off, uh, uh, Dead Beats. I'm NHL. attending uh, famous Jersey retirements here. Uh, I don't have time for these emails. I've got a very high-level meeting with Craig Conroy this weekend. Yeah, yeah. I can't be on the Zoom call. 
Or did you use the I don't get email on my phone like you do with us? I should try that. Just say, listen, just because you communicate with email doesn't mean mm -hmm. the rest of the world does. Yeah. Does it? Something the rest Is of it does. possible they called? Would you have gotten a phone call? Maybe I don't check messages. To Dean. Cover your tracks. Okay. Yeah. 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 Which phone is we tried to email? Yeah. Do you do you get the mail from the mailbox? Is it, it's a rental? How, it moved from last year. He probably doesn't change his address. We sent I a don't. homing pigeon, a smoke <laughs> signal. We called. We sent a like U.S. postage. We did everything to try and get yeah. a hold of you, but uh, doesn't seem. I guess I'm suspended. How's your fax machine? Is your fax machine got fax it over? In it? I yeah. will be sure to answer. Yeah. How's old uh, Georgie Sweetland handling this? I know he's a big fan know. of yours. So, are you doing anything to kind of uh, address the situation? Or I sent an email to the managers. Said, "What the f is this?" Yeah, so we'll see. And then they responded back, "Hey, Rhett, this is a third notice. That's what this is. It's in bold at the top of the email, and it yeah. says right there, uh, third request." We're not sure how you didn't see it. Because uh, we saw it three times. <laughs> Third. Maybe once. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, we sent a singing telegram. <laughs> Hi, Rhett, you'll be suspended if you don't read your email. <laughs> it's a Zoom call for 20 minutes or you can't coach. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, we're ta we talk about kids, hockey, this sort of thing. Uh Big night for the one kid last night. Oh, city championships. Come on! Oh, no wonder you're in Look such a great mood this morning, Dean. That's wonderful. Wow. City championships. Holy. She stood on her head. 3 she 1 was great win. All year. Yeah, she's had a heck. She's had a great year. So. Anytime we ask, how's the goalie? You said the goalie has been unbelievable. And the goalie's, goalie's not getting a lot of run support. So the goalie's had to be unbelievable. What an unbelievable story. Yeah, she was pumped. She and so she's pumped. really excited for next year, right? Uh, hanging up the pads. Yeah. Pardon me. <laughs> Going out on top. Yeah, maybe? for the off season, you gotta you gotta take yeah. some time off, get to some uh, multi sport, and then get right back in in the fall. Parents are she what? She's what? Uh, yeah, she just kind of wants to be player. Oh no! Oh oh no! Hey, she wants to play out. She's gonna play out. But uh, yeah, uh, weird. I don't know if you guys have had this experience. This uh, means a lot to the players, maybe more to the parents. Yeah. Parents really invested that too. in the city championships. We're not allowed to keep score yet because uh, it's U9 Hockey Calgary. And uh, See, the level of investment is quite impressive given that, you know, there aren't scores. Can't keep score, but just, oh, everyone's excited. They still keep, like, there's so much overmanaging of all of it. I got a three-minute highlight video of the weekend tournament set to music with like hours of video editing and photography incorporated today. People are invested. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they won last night. So that's, uh, they got that done. Coach was to celebrate. We're going to Dairy Queen. <laughs> Went to DQ for ice cream. Coach bought everybody the ice cream. Little that's ice cream out of, out of the cup. At the DQ wow. last night, having a little ice cream out of the cup. That's how you celebrate. So COVID started next, four sounds. years ago today, didn't it? They wouldn't have been doing that then. Oh, I saw, you know, I th it was either, I think it was yesterday that it was four years ago today. And there was the tweet, uh, the NBA has canceled the rest of the regular season. Yeah. Oh, good times. Good memories. Yeah. Was it Rudy Gobert? Who was it that touched the guy's microphone? was trying to make a joke of it. And then the next day he was like, I ease out with COVID. Yeah. What? It was, wasn't it Rudy Gobert? I think it was him. Yeah, it was. Thank yeah. you, Jack. Uh, we talked uh, retro with Jack yesterday because uh, they're going to let Russ cook in Pittsburgh now. <laughs> they're going to let die. Russ stretch on the plane in Pittsburgh yeah. this season. Tell me more. Well, Russell Wilson was a longtime Seattle Seahawk, then yeah. went to Denver in a trade that is pretty much being regarded as the worst trade in NFL history. Certainly in recent right history, yeah. yeah um, and he has now signed on to play the quarterback position for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, yeah. Jack is a huge Steelers fan. A honk, Dean? So honk. We, were, we, were sure, we weren't sure what to do um, or what to think. Is he going to be a fan of this move? Is he not going to be a fan of this move? Because Russell Wilson, polarizing guy, not a lot of people like him. What's he got left in the tank as far as being an NFL quarterback? Uh, this might surprise you. Jack thinks he's going to be great. Oh, he's bouncing back. He's going to be great. 
Hmm. I, I, I don't, don't know if it'll be great. I don't think you can get much worse than what they had. I see. And see, last year we all we heard about Pickett Kenny, and how yeah, great Pickett was. Pickett reminding was. me this the other day. Yeah, he was. He was. He was pointing out how many home runs the Pirates had hit in uh, Grapefruit <laughs> League, and I said, "You know, Jack, that reminds me of how good Kenny Pickett's quarterback <laughs> rating was in the preseason. Does it remind you of that? What are you talking about? Yeah." Yeah, Kenny Pickett so. was great. And then what happened when it mattered? Oh, he was straight shit. Awesome. Yeah. Hmm. We do need to have more Jack involvement on the uh, NFL season. I do what, like what's Jack. next. Does they, Look at shit. See? Yeah, the Ravens just signed a backup running back to back up Lamar. <laughs> Derek Henry. Did they just sign Henry? Yeah. Two years, 16 million. Did you see what he did there? He had two jabs. Yeah, it was a couple of jabs, yeah. Because Gus one alleging the quarterback's a running back, and the other yeah. one suggesting that Derrick Henry is a backup running back. It's very yeah. good work. Well, if you count that. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, what did the Bills do? They lost, what did they? Have they done anything yet? Babe Davis is off to Jacksonville. Babe's off. And he was tweeting and Instagramming and TikToking a lot about uh, his production compared to the opportunities he got in Buffalo leading into free agency. So I don't think anyone in Buffalo would be surprised, Rhett. Or upset. Go ahead. Ooh. We'll be fine without you. You don't want to be here. We don't want you. Because Diggs is happy to be there. Diggs is pumped to be here. Loves. Yeah. Oh there. God, he loves it. Yeah. Buffalo fan loves. His brother's it. been saying how much he loves it there. Yeah, he loves it there. Uh, speaking of Buffalo, I saw this came out. Uh, I guess it was yesterday. Had it for yesterday's show. Didn't get uh, get to it. But the uh, Buffalo Sabers have notified season ticket holders, certain season ticket holders who sell their game tickets on the secondary market. They'll need to purchase a state-required $5,000 reseller license before they can renew their season ticket membership. So you can buy the season tickets, you just can't sell them unless you pay five grand for a reseller license. And is they that good want... for life? Is that good for life? Yeah, I don't know how long that lasts. It's... Hey babe, we're I'm a reseller now. I've got a reseller like Sabres tickets nonetheless. That sounds aggressive. Yeah, I I was gonna ask, is there huge real, demand? Is there big, it's it a big market? I don't are people really jacking up the price? Well, this this ticket's a it's a $220 uh you know on the ticket there, but it's gonna I'm getting five grand a night for these things. So it's they, unbelievable. Yeah, so they're trying to eliminate the Sabres fans from being able to recoup some of the money they spend. Yeah. That's I guess they just want them to go to the games. That's all they want. Oof, I, I don't know if that's the message that they should be putting out there. Yeah. Oh, well. But, you know, seeing as it's 12 or 13 years in a row. <laughs> Is it that long? Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. Good. Anyway, that's what's happening uh, happening in Buffalo. I did see that. I just didn't really read it that closely. Yeah, I see. I think you're good at seeing the things. You're seeing some things, but the reading or taking in of them. Because it is weird because you're a great reader. Love to read. You're a very good book reader. Bookworm? Just not. Uh, you are a bookworm. Yeah, you are that. Uh Let's do the Betway bets. We'll do our Betway bets with Betway. You now. Here's the thing: if you've been hearing us talking about Betway and all oh, Betway this and Betway that, all these guys, the, the, yeah, Betway. You can get a free bet up to two hundred dollars if your first bet loses. Create a new account, scan the QR code on the screen, and redeem your bonus. Now, here's how it goes: so you get the QR code, you do the thing, place a bet, no minimum amount required. If that bet loses, you will get a refund of up to $200. You can then use that money to bet on your favorite sports. This offer only available outside of Ontario. So there you go. Betway, just come on in. Let's do this thing. Would love to get you in there, but bet the responsible way with Betway. That's how we do that. There's your chance right there. I mean, you could join at any time, but now it's like, well, it's not going to get better than that. It's 200 bucks right is. back in your pocket if you lose. If you it's win, a great you're happy. incentive. 
Yeah, oh, it's it's incentivizing for sure. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, Betway bets. The uh, the Flames are playing the Colorado Avalanche tonight. Here's what oh. I've got for mine. There's a little bit of a combo bet. Avs win, and if Kale McCarr gets a point, so one point for McCarr. Avalanche victory plus one hundred. And in the same game, Devon Taves, if he can get a point, it's plus one twenty five. Uh, he did not have a game. Their last game was against the Minnesota Wild. He did not have a point in that game, but did have at least a point in each of the five games prior to. Hmm. So just get a point, and you're at uh, you're on plus money there. <clears throat> so those are my. Uh, sorry, I know it's it feels like it's a little avalanche leaning, but well, uh, I mean, we we do enjoy people being realistic, but it also is a nice window into uh, your views on tonight's game. I am going to dance on the Kuzmenko anytime goal. He is back up on that top line with Sharon Govich. You say top line. Well, I mean, look. I, was still, I, I think, I think when we saw second lines, if we're being honest. When Steinberg we? put out his, uh, when he had the tweet up there earlier, yeah. I believe that was the third line. Yeah, he also had Backlund as the top line. I don't know that uh, we've said it. There is, there's a bit uh, of a love to, affair there too, so. No, we'll just can we jump in? We'll put a, just a quick pause in the betway bets yeah. to see the uh, uh, the lines here as he had. Yeah, them. I think Francis did the same the other day. I mean, well, there's Cadre oh, the top line. He's got Cadre, then the Francis, back line. The backland is the top line. I just look at when you think of a top line, what's their job? Go score. The most offensively gifted line is the guy with the 39 goals, the team leading in goal score, and the guy that had 115 points. See? Well, the thing about that line with Sharon Govich and Kuzmenko and Huberto. All of them Russian, so a lot of nope. chemistry potentially did be drummed up there, right? Not a shutdown. They can speak the same language. There's at least one Russian there for sure, so that's good. Um, anyway, whatever back, line you want to back to your betway bets. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, the one Russian, Andre Kuzmenko. Andre is that his name? Sure. Uh, two fifty for any time goal plus two fifty. That's an implied probability of twenty eight percent. All right, scores one every four games. Feels like value. I'm on it. And I do like Kale McCarr coming home to Calgary, putting on a show just like most Calgary boys or former Flames do. Two plus points pays plus 187. If you can't find value in McKinnon, and I couldn't, I'm going to go find the guy passing him the puck to make some money. And even there, you needed two points because I think one point for McCarr, there's not much value there either. No, totally there's not. not. much there for Ranton and McCarr. But plus 27 is a nice number, and it yeah. wouldn't be crazy to think that uh, McCarr is going to be around it tonight. There you go. That Those are our Betway bets. You can use them. You cannot use them. But hey, bet the responsible way with Betway. And of course, as we mentioned, you can get that free bet up to $200. If your first bet loses, scan that QR code, mm. create your new account, place a bet. And if that bet loses, you'll get a refund of up to $200 to use that. You can use that and more. You just Do it again. pay it for it. Betway. Bet the responsible way with Betway. Uh, Peter was coming in here. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, Jonathan Huberdov. Huberdov, yeah. Sharon Govich, Huberdov, and uh, Kuzmenko. Kuzmenko. And thank you for explaining the. Uh, yeah, appreciate it. There are a lot of Russians all of a sudden, but there's Wait also a, a lot of Bell Russians as well, which are not Russians. Um, they do speak Russian, though, I believe. Born in the USA. That's my favorite Rod Stewart song. <laughs> fucking idiot. Oh, he's so fucking stupid. Hey, did your kid get home? Yeah. Haven't seen him. Oh, yeah. But he did get home. He got, he hasn't. got him at the airport, brought yes. him home. He left. That was Saturday. Uh, I have seen him for about nine minutes. Is he excited? Big yeah. world traveler. Uh, you were nervous yeah. when he left. Yeah. No, he's uh, he's happy to be home. He went on a, uh, a world journey, uh, but he's back. No, uh, no immediate plans for a job or schooling. So yeah, you got to decompress. Concerning. It's a got to decompress after this. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but uh, I hope to see him at some point. Be nice. Be nice to catch up. Yeah, it's full cats in the cradle. Hey, son, it's so great to have you home. Hey, dad, you got the keys to the chair. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. you come back. Uh, be here for dinner. Oh, I got some plans. I'm gonna go meet with the boys for the thing. Okay, bud. That no, sounds great. So, oh, Dean, I'm sorry. So this weekend, are you, uh, think you'll be around or? Uh... All 
we're going up to Red Deer. There's a big thing. There's like a thing going on. We're gonna go. We're spending the night. We're gonna. You know what? Can I offer some advice? Okay, bud. Well, um, let me drive safe. And... Just have fun, I guess. You need to draw a, li a hard line in the sand here. Is that what you do? Yeah. You're living under this roof. You're living by my rules, boy. No, it's just going to push him away further. Yeah. yeah. Off you go. Get him cats in the cradle there. Then. You're better than the alternative. You don't want him living it up too much on your time. <laughs> I thought, you know, I'm doing the show from home today. So maybe after the show, maybe we'll go the, do a, uh, what? like, three minutes ago. Well, I guess he's. I could buy you coffee. You could tell me some stories about your trip. I guess he's going. See you. See you, bud. A little concerned about what you got going on at that house, Dean. God damn it. <laughs> the vibes feel very good. That's the thing I know about that house. Guess I'll get a little door dash. Not going out. May as well just stay home and have it brought into me. Because that's More what you me. do. More for me, son. I don't miss you at all. More guess, for dad. Yeah, just more welcome home cake for me. <laughs> uh, son, you didn't get uh, that card I left you on the table. I'm just, uh, I'm leaving you a voice message here. I'll read the card to you. <laughs> the best part is you'd go downstairs for some of that welcome home cake. It'll be all fucking gone anyway. Cause yeah, <laughs> you know, I guess I'll just eat this cake by myself. Wait, wait a minute. You ate the whole fucking cake without me. <laughs> what the? Seriously? I was hungry, eh? Like, what the f- Like, you- The whole cake? So well, good. it had my name on it. Well, well yeah! Good question in the comments. Where's Bear? At a time like this, where the hell Bear. is Bear? Come here, Bear. You want to talk about Come someone on. that's going to be there when you need him. Not leaving you high and dry to go some sort of bonfire party on the weekend. Yeah. Bear's there. He's got your back. Oh, there he is. Come here. This He's too best. big to even lift now. Come well, here. you try. You're just the front half. Yeah. Come here. Oh. Son of a. Don't pull oh, it back. Oh. <laughs> this is my friend, Bear. We're buddies. Right, Bear? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if he likes the lights. Bear hates. This is my other friend. Look at that. Thing. Hey, Rhett. Remember that good looking fellow? Oh, yeah. Buster just popped my headphones out. I like he's got that white bib on, eh? Just in case he spills anything. Yep. <sighs> so, yeah, that's what's going on here. Yeah, we'll so, say hi to him if you if you see him good there. Good times. Rhett and I just tell him hi. We said hi. Yeah. DoorDash for me and the dogs. <laughs> it's not sad at all. Not pathetic. Nope. Normal. I mean, you could go drive to get the food or could show up at your door. I mean, some wins there. We don't have a vehicle if somebody's... <laughs> That's the other thing, too. If your kid's stolen your car, <laughs> Dardash. Restaurants, groceries, pharmacies, bakeries, flower shops, and more. Dardash has everything that you need. Ordering is easy. Just open the Dardash app. Choose what you want from where you want and it'll be left safely outside your door. The door that my kid just went ro running right out of. And, and just for the record, DoorDash, you can't invite the driver in to talk with you about Hey, no, 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 you're, 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 you're going so soon. I got another I'm... delivery. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not allowed to come in your home. I have to keep going. I am on the job here. Have a wonderful I, night. I, Say I hi to your son too. for me. I got lots. I'll fix you. I'm going to double dash now. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're just going to have to come back, I guess. Yeah, with Double Dash, you can order uh, from multiple restaurants or stores in the same delivery without additional delivery fees. So for a limited time, there you see it, Nation 25. That's the promo code. Get you 25% off and zero delivery fees on your first order of $15 or more, Nation 25. What's on the menu for DoorDash? Man, we got some bangers in the NHL tonight, Dino. Rangers and Hurricanes. Last we checked, Canes look good. Um, last we checked, Rangers are good. Carolina four back of the Rangers for the Metro lead games played even. So if you want to win the division, Carolina tonight, you can cut the gap in half. Uh, that is a five o'clock start from rally where they played the goal song seven times on Sunday. They still think they worn out the cassette is, is 
Mm. Mm. Florida, Dallas, that's a six o'clock start from Big D. Panthers stars could be a Stanley Cup preview. Uh, only three points separate them. Florida's in top spot in the league. Dallas, three behind. Okay, that's good. And then also, if you're in town, well, geez, look at this. Colorado visiting the Dome. Kale McCarr returns home. Avs, big favorites on the road. Eight o'clock start here in Cal Vegas. That's what's on the menu for DoorDash. Cal Vegas. Sure, why not? Sure. Brett, what are you ordering tonight? I got it. My kid wants to go to the. We're going to watch Detroit. Sabres played Detroit. So I don't even get to it. Brutal. So. How, uh, are they raving about Bowen Byram over there? Is that I what have... Bears all excited about, Dean? <laughs> well, he's got a. St- Give me that. <laughs> no. Don't yell at your best friend. I just put a folder, a, a pick in the folder, and then we can call this a day. Um, this is this is what the dogs do all day. They just hang around and sleep. And when they're not fighting, they snuggle. Oh. It's like when Warner got the dog, this dog's crazy. Can't handle this dog's dog. Then he asked, so what does the dog do? He just kind of lays around all day. Really? Yeah, he's, he's, he's calmed down since... Uh, since being a puppy he is still very much he's kind of a side looker he doesn't move his head so if he's laying like this and you mention his name he'll just kind of turn his head just slightly i'm kind of interested in what you have to say but not so much that i would lift my head off of this bean a bag. Good spot here is there food involved i'm not really into talking right what now you want what do you need no I didn't hear food or car ride, so I am not interested whatsoever. Uh, tomorrow on the program, mm-hmm. we will have noodles. Jamie McLennan will be in. Um, I had that. What was the number? I brought it up to, you know, I've got it right here. The Ottawa Senators, Rhett, mm-hmm. oh. the team that he covers, they have played 14 games on the road against the Western Conference team. So 14 road games in the West. Almost every team. Zero oh. wins. Zero. Zero. Hate they have that not won they on the road. Time zone. <laughs> in the well, West. Some of them are in their time zone, but yeah, it's they hate the West. It's uh West is not in Ottawa's time zone. There'd be someone in uh no. some, in Eastern Time in the West. Nashville. Ooh. Ryan. Nashville. Ryan. Nashville, no. Ryan. Nashville, no. Oh, Please, Nashville. Dean. Thank you. Oh I mean, come on. Nashville was that in the Eastern Time Zone. I guess terrible. it's Central. When the West, like that the West, it's terrible. in the Eastern Time Zone. Awful take. <laughs> Detroit was in the West forever. That's Eastern Time. And they hated it. That's why they. And well, Tennessee of... is further east than Detroit. There's a lot You're of telling Western me that's Central Time? In the Eastern Conference. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So the team's uh, in the West. Okay. Yeah. So we'll talk to Noodles. It's actually. Great. The more I hear that, we have to play that more. Jack, save that. <laughs> it It is. You know what it is? That's it, Pinder loves to spar. Yes, you know, it's just, I'm going to, I'll just take whatever it is you've got. Oh, oh I'll take that fight. Why, why not? I'm no, bored. I'm the about it. There's, you know what though? You think you're, you think you're, you think you're right, but you know what? There's a lot of Western teams in the Eastern time zone. <laughs> the EST huh? of the west i i thought nashville was but actually when we went there for the draft i think i realized it wasn't so that would have been just one. ask us don't think for yourself don't I, you know what don't fact check us yeah is columbus eastern time uh oh i'm a post but i don't know now did you say there might be a team from the west in the well, east columbus or did you say the there's east, some so eastern there's some western teams in the eastern time i thought there was at least one team that would be in ottawa's time zone that was my where this started in my head, but I may be wrong. I think you're wrong. Let's go look at the standings. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Oh my god! Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I definitely need that. Yeah, no, there's not. Oh, look at this. There's no. the side eye. Is that a helmet on the floor? What are we looking at there? It's a stuff that's. It, it's he should oh, not have it. Son of a gun. Bear is smart enough to know that if I want attention, mm. I need to be a bit of a uh, 
D. S disturber. Yeah, I got to be a bit of an S disturber here. So I'll just take this shoe and he won't chew it, but he will place it right where you are. It's like, hey, look what I'm maybe into. Mm. Look at the mischief that I possibly. Hey, dad, be. I wouldn't be putting this in my mouth. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. So that's uh, that's what I'll be doing, guys. I'll be lying down on the carpet in the fetal and sobbing. With your two best friends, Dean. Come on. With Don't my so only negative. friends. Yeah. Jamie McLennan tomorrow. They look. Happy. And we will look back on the avalanche and flames from tonight at the Dome. Go get them, boys. Keep punching. Now, before we go. Dash that for the win with DoorDash. Yeah. Uh, we have a new sponsor oh, yeah, right. for just today. So I want to make sure we get that done today. Right. I know you want to go lie on the floor, but there's a little bit of work left. Rhett, tell them about our new sponsor. There you go, Rhett. I use the new sponsor. Have for Come years. on, do you? Have for years. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Synergies. Trust. Don't trust anyone with these websites. NordVPN. And you know what? We've talked about it whether on the show. Or it's a common... I've been getting all kinds of... You get spam emails. You get spam this, spam that. I don't know what's hacked. happening. It's this. They're getting hacked in here. It's, it's worse than it's ever been. Thus... Like Rhett, apparently, we need to be smarter and use NordVPN, which I didn't know, a virtual private network. Mm -hmm. I've heard the VPN for a long time. Didn't really know what it stood for. It's just like, oh, all right. So, so it's going to make uh, safe, safen up my stuff. All right. Sounds good. Then, I, then I'm in. And that's what NordVPN, it safens up your stuff, Ryan. That's uh, okay. That's their slogan. That's what it is. Safens up your stuff. Get the shirt. Uh, I got the app yesterday because I was been very curious about it. I wasn't really sure a ton about the product, unlike Rhett, and uh, got the app. You enter your email, and they're like, oh, hey, by the way, here are all the data leaks for the last 15 years involving this email address and websites you might have logged into. It was like, oh, uh, okay, so I should probably have a few uh, email password changes here and get that two-step verification. Yeah. 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 And then on top yeah. of that, like we have uh, subscription services and things like that. Jack is fist pumping. The Steelers must assign someone. Uh, let's say I want to watch the Flames, but maybe I'm not at the place where I subscribed. I can just jump on a server back to and watch on my stream my thing. So the more you look into it, the more you realize you should have been using NordVPN a long time ago. You're you're out in public using a, a oh just public oh, Wi-Fi. I'll just airport. jump onto that. Yeah, I'll just jump. Oh, hey, they've got Wi-Fi here. Great, I'll use that. Mm. I'll just do my taxes now and uh, <laughs> yeah. do, log into my banking information on this public Wi-Fi. That'll be good, right? Yeah, NordVPN, it secret secretifies your stuff. You get yeah. in there and your data can travel and it's not going to be uh, either shared by everybody or available to be sold by people, which is nice. Those are good things. Actual online privacy, which, yeah, everything's on the internet. So safen up your stuff. So You're Rhett, welcome, NordVPN, for that, by the way. Yeah, so Red, who doesn't answer his email and didn't reply to a third request and maybe suspended for states because he didn't check his email, that bad on one side of technology and yet that good on the other that he has been a longtime customer of NordVPN for years, you're saying, Red? I would say seven. Whoa! <laughs> Even bear. Get him, Louie. They're yep. mad at they're mad at me for not uh, having done this sooner. So yes, yeah. Sign up today and you'll get a special deal for Barnburner listeners. The website to do so, go to nordvpn.com slash barnburner. You sign up, it just makes sense. It's common sense, really. And you're gonna get a special little deal there for being a uh, member of the Barnburner community. I'm just connecting to a server now. I would do it. Look at this. Hey. Hides your IP address, encrypts yeah. your internet location to make everything more private and safe. That's what Bear likes. Loves it. Loves it. So there you go. Thank you, NordVPN, for jumping in. And uh, we we should all do uh, likewise. NordVPN.com slash Barnburner. There you go. I got no new leaks. No leaks since yesterday. I got a streak going. Where is mine here? Because I had it uh, revved up and going earlier. Anyway, thank you to NordVPN. Go again, check that out. NordVPN.com slash Barnburner to get that deal. Safen up your stuff. That's what I would do if I were you.
They might run that up the flagpole. That's kind of catchy. It is. I like that. Me too. Easy to understand. Yeah. Safen up your stuff. None of this technical mumbo jumbo, yeah. right? Can't handle it. Okay. Want to bog down the conversation with scientific terms? That's Just right. Safen up your stuff. Safen up your stuff. Okay, uh, buddies. That'll do it. We're back tomorrow. Noodles, looking back on the uh, Flames and Avs, getting ready for the Noah Hannafin reunion game. Oh, can't Ooh. wait. Enjoy that welcome home cake, Dean. Delicious. Delicious. Yeah. See you, buddies. See ya.